All right, hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome back to Regalia of Regalia of Men and Monarchs. So, people were saying that the town map scrolls. <laughs> did they mean this, or did they mean like the adventure map? Well, let's go out to the adventure map. Honestly, um, you're unless... not gonna see everyone in the inn. Well, that's just their daily rotation. That it's not that they're doing anything fancy there. It's just. Uh, so, personal bond in, castle in, town square shop. So we could do uh, personal bond stuff if we wanted to. Let's check quests. We got 36 days to finish. We've got to do the ungenial general, which actually is kind of tempting. Um, oh, you mean the general that's dead and yeah. you have to find his birth, oh, his death certificate. I was about to say birth certificate and it's yep. like, nope. So really what we need to do is go dungeoneering. Ooh. Well, we cleared the Falgar Wood. Yeah, we've cleared the Falgar Wood. We need to clear the Festerlands and Macare, probably. The, this is probably how the difficulty is handled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sorcerer's Isle seems kind of close to the end, and that'll get us party level five. So if we do these two, we'll also get this one, and then that'll solve our problems. Okay. And then after that, I'd say we go back and work on rep with people, maybe. I don't know. Um, thinking. Uh, yeah, I guess venture forth. For great. We move I would have liked to have seen if we could have upgraded oh. Alice, but... Yeah, that's a good point. Um, personal bonds, Alice. So, fireflies, maximum chain length by one, no longer suffers from reduced damage on jumping. Okay, you know what? That's fair. Can we? She's personal at the bond, end. in. Okay. So, a number of people had actually said that they liked us uh, save scumming. Uh, to see what other answers bond. were. Yeah. Uh... Eh, it's short enough as long as we don't have to go through it multiple times with different people. So let's talk to Alice. Good day. Hmm. Did you need something? Would you like to spend the day with Alice? Sure. Yeah, sure. Sure, why not? I've seen you spend a lot of time here in the main hall. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I sort of enjoy admiring the decor here at your place. Those ornaments over there, or these paintings of your ancestors. Uh, let's... So, this is interesting. Uh, I think if you bring up Gwen, she's gonna be testy about it because Gwen is the one that she's been feuding with. Yeah, so do we want to go with the good ones or shall we... Let's, let's bung up intentionally the first couple of times, maybe. Well, because the second one's bragging. Yeah. The first one could be seen as I mean, a compliment I, or a I feel a like the first one's calm. the best. Uh, the middle the middle one's kind of neutralish and uh, maybe even kind of pissy. And then the third one's going to piss her off. So let's piss her off. So there were Gwen's doing, mostly. She oh. actually likes that, though, because maybe she thinks more highly of Gwen. I guess so. Yeah, sure. Sounds about right. She strikes me as the sort of girl who's who'd guild everything just for the sake of it. But that's not what I wanted to say. Everything here seems to have a sense of continuity, of lineage. I guess it's neat to be able to draw a straight line from number one to number ten. And yet look, this guy looks almost nothing like you. Hell, if it wasn't for the name matching the plaque, I'd never guess that you two were supposed to be related. Uh, given what I know about noble families, I'd also bet good money that he wasn't a very amicable person. That's just how things work. No offense. And? What's your point? Doesn't it chafe you? And no, I don't mean the debt. Look, you're your own person. You don't owe anything to those bozos on the wall. Why should anyone judge you because of your family name? Because of things from the past that are completely beyond your control? Don't you feel angry at times? Huh. So you can say, it angers me, or hard to be mad at things I can't change, or no, not at all. I legitimately actually don't know how to respond badly. So- Let's just say no, not at all. Okay, so this is, this is my reasoning here. She's judged for being, what, a firebrand? Yeah. Or, uh, what do they call them in this world? They're not, like, flame-touched or cinders or... 
Maybe. Whatever. I mean, we can look it up. I bet it's in the codex. Because if he says it's hard to be mad at things I can't change, she'd probably be like, well, you know, there's stuff about me that I can't change and it impacts my daily life. I don't know. Because saying not at all, she'd be like, what? And of course that angers me. She would sort of feel self-vindicated or I don't know. Well, let's... Let's do the middle one. Now. Okay. Let's see. Hard to be mad at things I can't change. And that sentence is all it takes for you? Fair enough, I guess. But enough projecting. Maybe I shouldn't have asked. We can't all be smoldering with generic rage 24-7, hey? See ya. Anyway, see ya. So those were just like the mediocre answers. I I guess so. I were, I wouldn't be surprised if to some degree uh, you can't actually... Okay, we want to make sure we load. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if to some degree you can't actually mess up that conversation. Really? But Possibly. Can't it make her see you in a different way? Maybe. Okay, well, let's see. So the first okay. option, we choose something yeah, other than sure. Gwen. Yeah. And if we stumble across the good options, then we do. Yeah, okay. sure. Uh, let's go with yes. They're marvelous, aren't they? She's probably gonna dislike that. Nope. <laughs> Try snobbish or pretentious. But yeah, all unwarranted stabs at your taste aside, they do have an odd appeal. Everything and, and it's the same stuff again. Okay, given your normal family, so oh, doesn't it chafe you? Don't you feel angry? angry? Times no, not at all. Okay, sure. Yeah, she doesn't like that either. Yep. I see. Well, I guess my thinly veiled egoism is showing. But enough projecting. See. Yeah. Okay, so it's the same thing. So, so that those the are one. the worst ones. Yep. That doesn't do anything with her. Uh, let's see. Let's go back again. Time travel powers. <laughs> Now, I, I, I like the idea of actually going through every option. It kind of lets us know the characters even better. Because mm -hmm. normally you always see the good side or the bad okay. side or whatever, and this is just every side. Yeah, sure. Even if it's a little bit more time consuming, it's kind of fun. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I never pegged you for an art enthusiast. She really likes that. And you were right. See, it's not about the aesthetics. And it's the same thing. Yeah, everything, blah, 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 family. What's your point? Chafe, the debt, don't you feel angry? Of course it angers me. She really likes that. Looks like this is the one we just keep, don't yeah. we? Oh yeah, this is gonna be the one we keep. This is why I wanted to start with the bad options first. And if we stumble across a good one, okay, we'll just mess around. But if we do mediocre, bad, and then good, then we just end on the good and we don't have to reload a third time. Explosions! <laughs> okay. You sure keep a tight lid on it then. Sometimes I wish you could just burn it all away. Chuck one fireball after another. Achieve perfect stillness. Profit! Hey now, I was joking. Don't get weird. But enough projecting. Maybe I shouldn't have asked. We can't all be smoldering with generic rage 24 7, hey? See ya! Anyway, see ya. Okay, so that's the end of yeah, it. So just like the last we've already time. done that. Okay, and that should rank up our uh, social link uh, with her and give her a nice little power boost. Mm -hmm. And leaves her at 80%. Yeah, so the other things would be kind of nice, but Playful Manifestation is probably going to be the most useful. Uh, so she has Pounce. Eh, that's useful. And Pinpoint Strike cannot be missed or dodged. Well, characters, do we... Okay, cool. Let's get Playful Manifestation, because that actually really gives her quite the bonus. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, right. We did get her the, the new weapon. Is everybody else loaded up? He doesn't have Except any for trinkets. Him. Yeah, well, aren't we like poor as dirt? No, we're not poor as dirt anymore. Oh, you didn't sell every or buy everything? Uh, or was it because we hadn't tried looking in the shop? Oh. Uh, he's. Uh, the merchant's probably in the town square. Yep, there he is. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go adventuring next, but we're gonna go shopping with Hexen. Oh. Oh, he doesn't work today. Okay. Ah, uh, just go to the battle. It should be easy. Yeah, you have should, another person. It should be fine, uh, especially because uh, it's command. A day off town square. Oh, that's interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind in the future. Well, let's go to the town. I mean, it's gonna be easy, especially because we've already done the harder one. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's just adventure time, I guess. <laughs> I guess I should probably save before we go off. Okay, venture forth. For great, so let's take everybody. And we're gonna make a pit stop before we do adventure, uh, specific adventures. We're gonna go get the death record. Oh, but that's all the way down there. Oh, it's you over You have to here. go past oh. uh, the swamp. Well, scratch that. Guess we're going to Ban Macare. And let's let's give it a go. Okay. Days to explore six. Yep. All right, this should be easy. So across and yonder, a pastoral adventure in the lands of cows and old men. <laughs> Sweet. Cows. Hey, I thought they said that there was no cow level. Treading the slopes of the expanse, you bump into two lone huts overseeing a cliff. Farm animals graze in peace on a nearby pasture, looking around infrequently with fleeting curiosity. Two elderly gentlemen are seated by a small table in the yard, though the distance makes you unable to say what exactly they are doing. Approach the men? Approach the animals. I'm kidding. Yeah, you want to approach the men? Yeah. If it wasn't for the tangible sense of contest, you'd call them grandfatherly. Their rugged looks and tense faces only contribute further to that aura of uneasiness. The two gentlemen appear to be too busy to notice your presence, or they simply do not care, lost in their focus on what appears to be some sort of antiquated game board. Let's grab a chair and observe. Okay. Or you can ask them what they're playing. I don't want to bother them. The game seems simple enough to understand after a handful of turns. 24 black pieces against 13 white pieces, locked in battle to death. Despite this inherent asymmetry, it doesn't strike you as one-sided. Among the white pieces, one appears considerably larger and more ornate. A commander unit of some sort? Appropriately, it never lingers uh, in one place for long, constantly evading the aggressions of black. Slowly, the goal of the game becomes clear. The white commander has to flee the board, while black pieces have to capture said commander. As you've never played yourself, you have no idea how to gauge the skill of these two gentlemen. At the very least, they appear evenly matched. Let's keep watching. The game continues. A couple of bold maneuvers later, and you begin to spot patterns in black strategy and you can clearly see his movements and turns to come. White's commander piece is walking into a trap. The oncoming turn will irreversibly decide the victor. Oddly enough, White doesn't seem to realize this. Let's not interfere. Uh, ruining the fun for everyone. Uh, okay, you wanna see um, Black win? Um, not so much that. I just hate it whenever anybody tells me like, what to do in a game. Mm-hmm. Also, I think I'd be kind of frustrated if somebody was, like, helping the other side. Oh, yeah. I understand. You stay completely silent. Move after move, White steadily wraps his commander in peril. When he finally realizes that he's been tricked, it's far too late. Defeat is but one turn away now. Black chuckles heartily, reveling in the proverbial tears of his opponent. This game is in the back. Later, after the game, Black chats you up, clearly uplifted by his victory. Ha! Oh, you should probably do this. Ha! Mel's good, but he completely dropped the ball on that one. He chuckles. But you noticed my ruse, didn't you? Well then, thanks for not spoiling the fun. You got a black horse piece. I wonder if he would have gotten, like, the a white. white piece. Yeah, the white piece. So you get 50 EXP. What does the black horse piece? Physical penetration. Yep. So I think that makes 5% uh, of my physical damage uh, pierce past armor. Could be wrong, though. So it's sort of like chess, but not quite, because there yeah. were well, an neat. uneven number of tokens. Yeah. Okay, Sleepy Croplands. The unglamorous gateway into the lands of wheat and hay. Mind the rats. <laughs> Mind the rats. Why, are they, are they massive rats? I mean, I don't know. Could be dust mites again. Were they really dust mites? Supposedly. Survive, survive for eight turns. Survive for eight turns. All the deployed player combatants must survive. Win the battle in five turns is a challenge. Oh, jeez. Brandits. Brandits? Brandits. Uh, 
I can probably do this. Okay, so we're gonna put her here. Gonna put her... him. Hmm. Trying to decide. So they have one falcon with them. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna put her over here. No. Put her all the. No. How about Shouldn't her here, there? him here, and him all the way here so he can kind of loop around? Okay. Okay. My thoughts are I want to have Alice up ahead. Yes, yes. Because maybe I can. Uh, can you range things over obstacles? I didn't know. Uh, Fire, yeah, as long as it doesn't block line of sight, which should be fine. I don't think she can hit anything from that vantage point, unfortunately. No. I'm just trying to decide, is it worth it to enrage? Yes, actually. We're gonna enrage. That cost me a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, and then I probably don't want to move Let forward any further. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna save my authority points and uh, use her AoE move. Mm-hmm. On the next round, the I think. Okay, so what do we got? Fire shield. Deterrence on target ally for two turns. Uh, retaliates for 50% of base damage whenever struck by a hostile skill. That's useful. All targets in the AO AOE. Ooh, Ooh, that's useful. Blazing barrier. So people can't pass through the wall of flames without being uh, burned. Yeah. That would be a good thing to put on either side of the board. And then this jumps. Fiery amplification. That jumps between people, so. So if it I would do this, it'll hit all three of them. I'm tempted to do Firefly, if only because. Uh, Inferno. Yeah, or we could just lead with Inferno. Let's do Inferno just because they're pretty tightly clumped. Okay. Maybe. They might get tighter though. I, I don't know. What do you mean by get tighter? Well, there might be even more enemies stacking up on like Signy fairly soon. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Let's let's go with this. The other option was firewall, but Ooh. yeah, I think that was worth it. Okay. Oh wait. Why did you move her? I didn't mean to. I wasn't thinking. Well, it's okay. <laughs> I can move her back. Oh. Watch this. Plus. He should be able to. I don't know. I mean, worse. As long as that one club guy doesn't get her. I think she might take like a hit, but I'm not. I'm not too worried. They're also really slow. Mhm. Mm also, I think that wheel is in the way. Yeah. Yep. Okay, they're starting to pile up over there. Yeah, they are. Hey oh. We move now. Yes. Okay. So are you used in rage. Uh, so if I do, not pounce, if I do massacre, massacre, it'll hit everybody. Do I want to do that though? Or do I want to like move up or... No, let's just do massacre. And we don't have any more actions. Probably just gonna hang out here. At your side. Ah, okay. she's blocking the way. That's not the end of the world. Have at thee! Okay, I'm gonna do that there. Oh, he's gonna whack. Yep. Hurts a bit. Oh, She's and stunned. stunned. That's bad. Okay, well, it's it's fine. The heat is on! Okay. Because I'm gonna bring her back. And we could do... Ooh. Ooh. Uh... Let's do Blazing Barrier. How do we... Well, that hurt your... They'll hurt your allies, though, Hold won't on. it? Or will it There's help There's them? a way to rotate. Um, maybe, it, maybe it says? Cancel. Uh, shoot. So there's a tip for this, specifically. That uh, says you can rotate things. Oh, uh, is that the rotate symbol right over there? Which one? Z. No. Oh, the one? Z is undo move. Oh, that's undo move. Sorry. That's wait. Oh, delays current activation. Well, that could be useful in the future. Probably not. Um, wait. 
That's forfeit. Victory conditions, combat log, combat speed settings. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look this up quick. You'd think they'd actually have it there. Okay, there we go. It's not like the scroll wheel. Ah, or anything. tab. Tab. Yeah, I was trying. I was trying that blazing, blazing barrier. Oh, I see. We undid our move. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do blazing barrier and tab. Tab to rotate. Oh, no line of sight for that guy. Okay, let's undo move. Okay, there we go. Okay. So that'll kill one guy and make it dangerous for the others. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's do... Give her some more armor. And then back off. I don't really... I guess, honestly, K can take hits. Uh, but I just preferred not to. Okay, yeah, this will be fine. And now she's slowed, but, like, whatever. Okay, uh... Blazing barrier. Oh, he good missed. thing. Yep. Because he doesn't have any shield points on him. Oh, please burn. Thank you. Yep. That's only 50. And... <laughs> Uh -oh. He's calling for help. No, that's fine. Well, we need to Let's get rid get of him. Dangerous. Yep. So we can do Firefly. Check that one out. I think this guy's gonna die here. Or standing in the area of effect. I'm not entirely sure what that's gonna do. Well, I could... You here. could do another flaming move. Started. Yeah. Let's, let's just keep, uh... Yes. Blasting both of these ah, guys. Yeah. You got both of them. Yeah. She she does damage. She's not bad. Okay. Revenge. Ow. Yeah, ouch. Eh, not a big Whoa. deal. Whoa. It the took a second turn. Now. Went all the way over there. Well, no, it just moved. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just do a crescent strike. <laughs> Might as well get the extra armor. And let's roll back. We want to give these guys some room to get close. Uh, bird is should, almost dead. The bird. Yeah, shoot I could go bird. for some extra command points, but I'm not terribly worried shoot about that. The bird. No, you don't shoot the bird. Oh, slash the bird. Yeah, slash the bird. Right at you. Or miss. Aww. Well, that is. Aww. Mildly to wildly disappointing. I hate it when misses occur. Yep. I mean, I kind of appreciate it, though, because, uh, well, I don't know. She's still stunned? That's a long stun. Yeah, wow. And Note now to self, the Inferno is gone. If we can pick up some stun effects, that'd be nice. And now we're blinded. Well, that's okay. We move now, yes? Okay, good. Okay. So I'm going to move up. We are going to use Whirlwind. <laughs> She's she's doing fine. Uh, the heat and activation. Do firefly. Nope. Gonna have to move and firefly. Really? That might hurt your ally, right? No, fire firefly just bounces. Okay. Oh, actually, come to think of it. Does that get both of them? Yeah. Yeah. It should. Accuracy is a bit of a question. Eh. Whatever. Are um, you so the bird really? dodged it? All right, I'm fine. Just getting no, they both it they missed, both? and yeah, that was kind of pitiful. Well, that's okay. Here we go. All right, so he's blinded. He's taking some damage. Let's command up. Right at you. Hopefully, we can get some boosts on on that effect. Oh, oh no, twenty percent of maximum shields on the al ally. Hmm. Uh, let's see. The one thing is, uh, if I use command on an enemy, it actually makes it so my How allies can't miss. How many turns are we at? Did we fail the whole five turns victory? Four, it looks like. I'm deck you in the schnoz. So... You have to the finish them all now. this turn if you want the bonus. Yeah, that's... Debatable. Yeah, that is super debatable. No quarter! 
well, within five turns, so we, we might be able to get it done. Um, really, the the combination of the stun and the uh, the bird, the misses. Yeah. Oh gosh, the, and the stun right and bad of... RNG just kind of ruined it. It's okay. It happens. Okay, Savage Roar. I'm just gonna pounce to the other side of him. Start going for the. Actually, I'm gonna move here. And Ancestors, hear me and roar! I'm gonna try and pounce the bird. Okay, bird's dead. From mm -hmm. dust you came to Back dust we go. you go. All right. Uh, boisterous challenge. Percent. No. Probably this one could kill him. For honor. Oh, Are you kidding five me? HP. Let's get dangerous. How do you get that guy? Catch. What? He oh, dodged great. it. And this is why we're not gonna get it. It's okay. Yeah. Just the sheer bad luck here is just. Put your guns on. Kind of. Yeah, because if she had been able to help finish him off. I mean, the other option is we could reload. Nah. But I don't feel like it. It's. We'll be fine. This game's. I. Uh -oh. I mean, if it's like a. What? He. Did, oh, he did the call. Ah, eh, whatever. Oh, but he's dead. Yeah. The hunt continues. Yes. Well, it's okay. Everybody had to survive, and worst comes to worst, we just lost like. 15% treasure chance and 15 EXP. Mm. We'll live. Uh, it's just kind of frustrating because, yeah, RNG was definitely not on my side for that one. All right. Uh, Ooh. What's the exclamation point? Uh, uh, these are like uh, text adventures. This text is Text adventure! Yeah. Crowned with charms of copper, a tree carries our hopes. The tree of wishes. You encounter a lone gnarled tree long since whitened by time. Its dead ashen branches pine for the skies in an embracing gesture, retaining an odd sense of slumbering vitality. Needless to say, it visibly stands out from the surrounding flora. Examine the tree. The trunk itself appears old but in good condition, strangely unblemished by trappings of age, aside from many obviously man-made knife scars. Hundreds of tiny copper amulets hang from the tree's twisting branches, likely a remnant of some obscure custom or ritual. You recall hearing stories about similar good luck practices among local children? Couples? You cannot recall. Let's go for one of the amulets from the branches, because kicking the tree is bad, leaving the tree alone is lame. Yeah, leaving the tree alone is bad, kicking the tree... Plucking one of the amulets might curse you. But we might actually find, like, somebody's wish. I don't know, I want to try it. Okay. These small corded amulets are almost coin-like in size and style. As far as you can tell, they are all exactly the same. Round, rough to the touch, and minted with some simplistic symbols. There is an inscription around the rim. Upon the moon so blue, wish and it'll come true. I feel guilty for taking it. Yeah, it's someone's wish. Let's put it back. The trunk itself appears old, but in good condition, strangely unblemished by the trappings of age. It's oh, the same it's thing. the same stuff. That's weird. So, so do you want to carve back. it? We could. I mean, it's covered in other... Yeah, man-made knife scars. So, carving a small dent in the bark probably isn't... What does that do? Is that like a know. wish, or is it a curse? Maybe. Or is Let's it give a... it a go. So, carve a small dent in the bark. Bright crystalline sap begins to trickle from the tree, glistening in your palms and sticking clumsily to your fingers. It also smells faintly of dead leaves. A most curious occurrence. Taste it or gather some for later use. Um, sure. Who knows what it will do? No, not the tasting. I just like gathering. the idea of Kay just always putting everything in his and mouth. And you die instantly. I just like the idea of Kay just like licking everything he comes across. <laughs> We've already established this as a character trait. Wait, he does? Remember, he drank his own grandfather's ashes? Oh, that's true. I'll taste it! 
Though not without some repulsion, you consume some of the strange sap. As soon as you do, your throat begins to swell and burn, making breathing painful. It hurts and you cannot do anything about it. Perhaps that wasn't the wisest course of action after all. Oh, for the love of... However, the unpleasantness subsides quickly, leaving you with a feeling of renewed strength. As color returns to your face, you feel warm and reinvigorated. Huh, neat. Indeed. Who knows what else awaits you in the world? And the adventure. All right, and let's go to the- You should have gathered some point. of it. It could have been a potion. Well, I'm, I'm actually probably going to reload and try and redo that battle with slightly less RNG. Really? I, we, I don't like having to reload all that. Well, no, 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 no. I'm going to be doing it off camera. Oh. Because we're about to hit the end of the episode. So let's go to Pilgrim's Point. Carved by time and elements, this outcropping shelters a small hollow. Looks like a decent place to set camp. I mean, we have a save point. We're sitting right here. I'm just going to mess around with the alternative branches to see what happens. But first, let's talk to Alice and Signy. So, Signy, I hear you like nicknaming other people. What's up with that? Just so. Names are important. They give form to fabric. Right, right. But say, if you were to think of a nickname for me, what would it be? A vixen. Couldn't be better. <laughs> Damn right. Still, Still better than, than Duckling. Duckling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Y yeah, I had a chuckle about this already. Where did that nickname come from anyway, Signy? A duckling is a small duck. Obviously? Well, um, a save. So at this point, uh, it's a good stopping point, mainly because uh, I would like to actually start streaming this game. We've been playing a lot of Mistralia on stream, but now that we're done with that, this is probably going to take over that time slot. So I guess we will see you guys on the next episode of Regalia, and if you guys tend to watch our live streams, or my live streams are, I don't know, she'll sometimes there. We're probably going to be streaming it specifically tonight, Tuesday the 23rd, and you can come hang out. If you watch this two months from now, you're probably not going to be able to see a stream of this, I'm sorry. Anyway! Oh yeah. Oh wait, no, we, I just saved. Didn't I? I believe... I'm going to compulsively save anyway, just in case. So, we will see you guys in the next episode of Regalia of Men and Monarchs, and as always, thanks for watching.